What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to Petauke to show you a traditional ceremony which mainstream media has never showed you. In less than one week, 133,000 views. Take a look at this ride guys. Yesterday I was in Siavonga. Uh, Lake Kariba today, Petauke. I'm in, in the intercity as you can see. Subscribe, guys. So, like I said, now I'm on my way to Petauke, Eastern Province, to show you a traditional ceremony known as Kutira Nsembe, traditional ceremony of the Nsenga speaking people of Eastern Province. Petauke to be specific. Now from Petauke, you go deep inside the villages, about 45 kilometers. This uh, traditional ceremony takes place at a palace, at Kaumbwe Palace, Chief Mwanjabantu. Yes, Chief Mwanjabantu, that is where I'm taking you. You know, my name is Travel Tenement. What I do is travel uh, places, especially in Zambia for now. I want to go to as many places as possible, show you many places, bring about stories about who we are, about our tradition, about nice places. This time around, it is a traditional ceremony uh, to deal with the Nsengas. Then from here, I'm going to take you, show you a little bit about village life, then take you to see waterfalls, many more stuff. That is what I do, guys. This is the Levy uh, shopping mall, Levy shopping mall, one of the shop, many shopping malls we have here in Lusaka. So I'm on my way to Chipata, guys. Not Chipata, I'm used to saying Chipata. I'm going to Petauke. And this is the Manda Hill area. So we are entering the Manda Hill area at the Manda Hill footbridge. From Manda Hill footbridge here, the one you are seeing here is my favorite shopping mall known as the Manda Hill shopping mall. Okay, so where I'm taking you in, in Petauke, you know, Transport arrangements, my accommodation has already been arranged, so I'm just going and uh, to, to Petauke just to go and see what I've never seen. Trust me, I never even heard of a ceremony known as Kutira Nsembe, traditional ceremony of the Nsenga speaking people. This look at this beautiful view at the at the arcades flyover bridge yes i did a video about this bridge immediately it was officially commissioned Again, we are climbing another bridge which is known as the Munali Flyover Bridge, which connects a road from the Chamba Valley Road. There we go, going to Chamba Valley Counter Square. This side is known as the Kamloops Road. So, this is the Munali Flyover Bridge. Yep, yeah! Yep, yeah! Then I'm going to show you a few things. So what are you expecting? You are expecting to see highlights. What is Kutira Nsembe traditional ceremony? Many people have asked me. So I'm here officially in Chongwe on my way to Petauke. I will show you what Kutira Nsembe ceremony is. There are some documentaries, some interview I did with the historians of the, this uh, culture. Uh, the hospitality of the people. Um, I will also 
also tell you a little bit about my experience uh, because my accommodation is right at the palace yes at the palace a lot of stories to tell you about how they welcomed me about what i covered different aspects guys you can't afford if you are new on my channel make sure you are subscribed finding life along the way melodies we haven't played and now i don't want no rest echoing around these walls fighting to create a song so in this route i'm using another transport system another bus known as power tools they have orange buses is it my favorite absolutely not but it is good i can tell you but if you ask me to recommend the best coach to use in zambia it is the ubz but i used power tools because the hour we are passing uh power tools had already like gone so that's why we use the power tools but we had a very safe journey so this time around we are at the popular luangwa bridge so this is the luangwa river uh-huh uh, we are passing by the luangwa river which separates the lusaka province to the eastern province so this is officially we are leaving lusaka province and entering the popular eastern province kumava here we come that is how we entered by crossing this ruangwa river i've said many stories before about the ruangwa river how it was bombed by the then southern rhodesia under a dictator under the colonial master known as ian smith who bombed this one because they didn't want us uh, to support one another in southern africa during the struggle for independence but it is what it is it is history now zimbabwe is not our enemy in fact it was not government of zimbabwe which bombed this bridge to destroy it it was the government of uh, southern rhodesia before independence there it is and we are now officially while it was getting dark it is now dark and we entered nyimba yes nyimba to my shadow to the sun rays and on and on we'll go through the wastelands through the highways and on getting dark there were some scenes okay this is a top plaza of course there were some scenes which i could not cover because of darkness but i mean i've showed you a lot of it uh, which was very visible so we went through arrived at the station and then the chieftainess her majesty chieftainess manjavantu had even sent a driver Give us a comfortable car, dropped us, we moved. This is how we arrived in Stowe in Petauke, but the bus was proceeding to Chipata. 
desde arrival. So be on the lookout for more interesting videos here in Petauke, more videos from Mumbwa, our videos from Kasama, videos which are going to come from Sioma, more trips during this summer season. So make sure you remain connected and please continue supporting your brother Travotainment. Tafika Munga Boza. Well guys, on that note, I say thank you so much for watching. I'm officially in Petauke. If you are new on my channel, subscribe, turn on bell notification, give this video a thumbs up. Expect more interesting videos. Peace.